In this video, we are going to look at rare Federal Reserve notes, rare currency, rare money, and even rare dollar bills that could possibly be hiding in your wallet that's sold for tens of thousands of dollars. All that and more coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to Couch Collectibles where we do giveaways every single week. So if you're not already part of the Couch Crew, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and click that bell. It will notify you when I go live or when I upload a video. That way you guys can be the first like, first share, first comment, first one in on the live chat. Let me know who's going to be the first person to share this video. Let me know in the comments below. So in this video, we are going to look at rare money. So dollar bills, five dollar bills, tens, twenties, fifties, and even some older ones. So I don't expect you to find some of the older ones in your wallet. However, if you go to the bank, just like how we coin roll hunt, we go to the bank, get coins, search through them, keep all the good ones, take the regular coins back. You can do that with dollar bills as well. So say you want $51 bills, go to the bank, tell them you want $51 bills. You could search through them, see if you could find anything valuable. And if you haven't seen my other dollar bill videos, make sure you guys go check that out because I have a lot of information in there where I explain exactly what to search for. So without further ado, let's just hop into this video and check out this rare money to look for in your wallet. Alright, so starting off with a older one. It is a 1934 $5 bill. So obviously these are the older $5 bills. However, what makes this $5 bill valuable is that it is a double denomination. So you can see there the bottom image is the back of the $5 bill. So it has the reverse of a $10 bill on the back of a $5 bill. So that is gonna make it extremely, extremely valuable. This bill sold for over $24,000. Next up is a 1988 Federal Reserve note. Obviously you could see the error taking place on the front of the bill. And what that is, it's basically a multiple impression with the fourth printing being there on the front of the dollar bill. Nothing seems to be wrong with the back of the bill and this dollar bill here sold for over $21,000. $21,000. Next up is an extremely valuable Federal Reserve note. This is a 1950 $10 bill. Now on the bottom image, you can see that it's misaligned there on the back of the bill. From what I've read, they didn't even produce a lot of these 1950A's Federal Reserve notes. And that's why this thing sold for a whopping $57,000. Moving on to a 1973 $5 bill, Federal Reserve notes, rare money, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you look closely to the green seal of this bill, you will see a paperclip impression. So that's pretty cool, very interesting error. Somehow when this bill was getting produced, a paperclip got in the way and left that impression there on the bill. And that's why this $5 bill here sold for over $21,000. Moving on to a 1980 $5 bill. Now you see the top image there. That is the back of the $5 bill. Now it's got two different types of errors on this bill. It has an ink smear, obviously, as you can see in the image display. And if you look closely on the back of that $5 bill, you can also see the back of a $1 bill on that $5 bill. You see the circle and the pyramid. It's a little light, but you can definitely still see it there. So it is also a double denomination error as well. And that's why this $5 bill sold for over $17,000. Next up is a $20 bill. Now this is a 1996. $20 bill, a very interesting error. I mean, um, very, very interesting. You can pretty much see what's going on here in the picture. On this Federal Reserve note, there is a banana sticker that somehow got in the mix of it when this $20 bill was being printed. Now, if someone did that on purpose, I have no idea, but I'm very impressed that this even got out into circulation. Now this bill here sold for over $25,000. Next up is a $2 bill. Now this is a 1976 $2 bill. A lot of people have these. However, on this one, it is a double printing error. So you can see that on the serial numbers and on the rest of the design there, the seals as well. And this bill here sold for over 5,000 
$700. Next up is a $20 bill, similar to the first picture that we looked at. This is a 1974 Federal Reserve note that is a dual denomination. As you see there, the top image is a $20 bill. On the back of it, however, is a $10 bill. So that's what makes it valuable, and that's why it's sold for over $37,000. Next up is a $100 bill, the big bills. Well, this is pretty cool. It is a star note. You can see the star there at the end of the serial number. And obviously, there on the back of the bill, on the bottom, image you can see that it is missing the back printing and that's gonna make it valuable this thing sold for over five thousand seven hundred dollars as well next up is a dollar bill that you could definitely be searching for in your wallet now this is a 1988 one dollar bill that has a missed match star note serial number so if you look at the front of the bill on the left side the green serial number you will see at the end that it has a star now if you look there on the other side of the bill on the right side of the bill and look at the green serial number you will see that it ends in an l so it is mismatched both of those serial numbers are supposed to line up and be the same exact serial number so it's if one's got a star the other one's got to have a star if one's got an l the other one's got to have an l now this bill because of that mismatched serial number sold for over twenty nine thousand dollars and here's just another example of that however this one does not have a star note if you look at both of the serial numbers again you can see one is ending in c and the other is ending in g now i can see this easily being passed up because c looks similar to g i mean you don't really notice stuff like that unless you're really really inspecting your dollar bills and everything about them now this is a 1995 mismatch prefix and suffix so if you look there at the beginning of the serial number is also mismatched so one starts with a and the other starts with k although the numbers are the same in between the two letters the prefix and suffix are mismatched and that's why this dollar bill sold for over four thousand $800. Hey guys, don't click off the video yet. I got something important to tell you. All right, so guys, if you don't know the live stream schedule, hop over to my community tab, go to my channel, click community, go down to the live stream schedule. You will see it. It's a picture. We're going live Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. So this Thursday coming up tomorrow, we will be live streaming. If you guys want to know when we're going live, that way you guys can hop in the live chat or possibly win some free coins. All you guys got to do is click the bell. It will notify you when I go live or when I upload a video. So until then, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.